guys. So I'm gonna show you how to put together your wheelbarrow. If you notice, this piece right here is missing something and that's what we just discovered um, yesterday. So it's not a big deal. You can still put your wheelbarrow together. Everybody will be receiving it, but it just goes right in here, okay? So that way you know like, oh, okay, it's not, my, my wheelbarrow still works, okay? So it's gonna go right here and it's gonna be painted and it's gonna be glued and it'll be the front part of your wheelbarrow, okay? But I'm gonna show you how to put it together in the meanwhile and then you will be good to go. I know it looks a little complicated, but you can still do it without the part, okay? But everybody will get theirs. I've already cut them. I just need to ship them. Um, and so, yeah, it's a little tiny piece that we can do for you. Um, all right, so your wheelbarrow is going to come with 10 pieces missing the other piece, okay? So you've got two handlebars or whatever they're called. You've got the back the bottom, you've got the front and the back, you've got a little space, well, this is going to keep your wheels together, you've got a spacer, and you've got two wheels, okay? I am going to put this together. Um, it is meant to be shipped out, but I'm just going to put it together and I'll do another one, okay? Um, so you want to paint everything ahead of time, okay? So I would just paint it all, to be honest with you, okay? Because, well, I mean, if you figure where your handles are gonna go, the handles are gonna go like this. So paint one side and then paint the other side. Um, or just paint it all so you don't mess up with it, okay? I did a little darker for my wheels and then a little lighter for the actual wheelbarrow. This is just Apple Barrel um, Brown Paint. And then this is my Waverly um, brown paint. So the chart, the Java one, okay? But pick the colors you like, guys. You can do whatever colors you like, okay? So you can even leave it then the wood color if you like it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is paint it first. Make sure it's completely painted. Um, wherever you need it painted, you could always touch it up later if you want. You really don't need to paint this stick here. You don't need to paint this one either. Um, these, yes, I would paint. Actually, I would paint both of these sides because they're going to be the inside and the outside of your wheelbarrow. Wheels, up to you. And then these parts, yes, I would paint them. This one is going to be your back. So you're going to see both in case you have it placed in a certain spot. Okay? All right. So once you're done painting, um, this took me forever to put together, so that's why I'm not gonna paint it and do all that stuff. So we're gonna get our wheelbarrows. And I can't say that there's any um, like easy way to put this together. For one, you're gonna need some good wood glue. And I recommend something that, gr that dries generally fast, okay? This one does, this one does. Beacon, the Beacon 3-in-1, it does not dry as fast as I would like it to dry. Um, you're not going to use any hot glue on this for the exception of filling in your wheels, okay? Because there's a little bit of a gap, so I filled it in there, and then I secured it here and there, just a little extra glue. But hot glue will not um, allow your pieces to lie flat because of the type of wood it is, okay? So you're going to use some type of wood glue, whatever you like, um, that dries relatively quick, Okay, so um, let's see which the what is the best way to do this. I did it last night and I'm like, huh. So for one, this is your bottom of your wheelbarrow, okay? The shorter part is going to go towards the handles, okay? Just so you know. So it's going to go just like this. It fits perfectly in here, okay? Perfectly. So we can start gluing this part. I've done it both ways. I've done it doing it starting from the wheels, but let's try this way. And I do like this one because it has the nozzle. You guys already know I love it. Love it. So let me see if I can, if I'm strong enough to get it undone. So I was just using it a ton yesterday. Okay, there we go. 
All right, and you're really only gonna put glue where you need it, okay, guys? Oh yeah, this is my one that I've used and abused. <laughs> okay, so for example, we know that this is gonna sit like this. So we need it on the bottom of here and then the sides, okay? So I'm gonna do the bottom and the sides, okay? Bottom, side, bottom. And I mean, you can do whatever makes sense to you. If that doesn't make sense to do it this way first, then do it however it makes sense for you once you watch the full video, okay? I think I did that right. And then we're just gonna hold it. That's why we want something that dries relatively fast. So we're gonna hold it right here. And then we can actually probably lay it down. There we go. And then we can start on the other handle, okay? Same exact thing, guys. It's just gonna go straight in here. It has its little pieces. It's gonna fit perfectly in there. <laughs> but since I'm not like super just gonna leave it like this for a little bit. And the hot glue I did use to secure some of these pieces on the bottom, wherever, you know, you won't really see it, um, just to give it some extra, um, extra strength. And they go get, see, it's already good. All right. All right, so it's pretty much dry with the hot glue, I mean with the glue gun, but I went ahead and applied a little layer of hot glue. This is at the very bottom, so you're not gonna see this. Nobody is gonna see this. It just is gonna apply a little extra um, strength to your wheelbarrow, okay? Because I mean, it is wood and you know, it's, we wanna make sure it lasts forever and ever, okay? So leave that there. So this is gonna be the front of our wheelbarrow. I'm gonna flip it over once that's dry and I'm gonna show you how to do the wheels, okay? Now the wheels, you're going to need, at least for the front, a wheel, this piece of stick here, and then your spacer, okay? Your spacer is going to be what allows you to put this later on. Like I said, we were able to do it without it and now I would just paint it and add it in here and glue it. And it's gonna be the front of your wheelbarrow. Leaves plenty of room in between the wheel and the base so that you can put it together, okay? So don't fret if you don't have it just yet, you can still put your wheelbarrow together, okay? And then you'll just add this piece in later. So I'm glad that it wasn't anything that like was terrible okay so here is the front of our wheelbarrow um i am going to get this stick here and this i mean it does it's kind of a little bit of a pain in the butt but <laughs> but we got this okay just have some patience i promise all right so you're going to apply your spacer which is this little piece here you're going to put your spacer and then this is going to go in your spacer okay and then your wheel is going to attach here. Okay, so all of that goes right here. Um, and then we're gonna kind of glue it all together and then just kind of have to hold it for a little bit, okay? So let's do it real quick. We are going to, let's do one at a time. We're gonna do the spacer first. It is a little bit tricky, but it, you got this, I promise. It's not that hard. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be harder and it's not. Okay, so a little bit of glue here for my spacer. I'm gonna put it here, align it with the hole, right? And then we'll just let it sit for a second. And I kind of worked in sections wherever I could, okay? Whatever makes it easiest for you. And all this is doing, guys, is adding that little extra space, like I said, 
so that you can place this here, okay? And it's gonna kind of sit like that. Perfecto, perfecto. All right, now, so that's pretty good. This goes in, but it doesn't completely fill the hole, okay? So what I did is I applied some wood glue, but after that, so you're gonna apply it here, right? And then you're gonna put it here. But after that, I actually filled it in with hot glue, okay? And you can paint this, I just haven't painted it yet. But so that it has a little bit extra support, okay? So what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna put some wood glue in here and then once it's settled, or once I have it in place, I'll add some hot glue and you can just paint it. So I'm gonna put it in here, <laughs> put a good amount. And then our spacer, or our stick is gonna go in there. And then our stick is also gonna go in between our wheel. That's what's gonna secure them. So we're gonna put this in. And it, it can actually go either way. So it's really up to you what way you find to be more secure. And I'll show you what I did because these are actually both different. So there it is. I'm gonna hold it in there. You're gonna get glue on you too, okay? Just so you know. <laughs> I had glue all over me. It's kind of funny, kind of not funny. All right, so I'm gonna hold it in place. So it is up against my spacer um, up on the stick and then on the wheel and I am just holding it in place, okay? My finger's kind of stuck too, okay? So you could always do the glue right here or you could do the glue back here. So it just depends. If you don't want it to be seen and you don't want to have to paint over it, then I would do it in the back. Let me get a white paper. Just use this. But I have glue all over me yesterday. I'm just letting that sit real quick and then we'll go ahead and put some hot glue in there. And the only reason why I'm using hot glue like in other times is to fill in holes. Fill in holes or do this. Otherwise, it will not adhere to the glue. I mean to the wood. The wood is has different compounds in it. It's pressed wood. So it will not take hot glue. Okay. so I put it in there you can push it in there if you want you can me, use this stick here push it in there I mean it's it's in there so it's gonna provide a little extra um, support for your wheel okay so we'll do the other part so we can get it to start standing so we're gonna put it here there is no spacer for this side okay no spacer needed. Um, it's going to stick out a little bit more, but this is the back, so we don't need anything extra in there. So we're going to put our thing here. This is the other side of the wheelbarrow, right? And then we are going to, um, and then we are going to get our wheel ready, okay? And your wheel might stick out a little bit more on this end. It's up to you how you want to do it. Um, just because the piece is longer, but you can make it go all the way down if you want and then shave off that end. I didn't stick it out at all on this side. So same thing on this part. We're going to glue this and then put on our wheels. It's gonna go, I always double check before I glue because you never wanna, you never know, right? It's gonna go this way. So this is so okay, so top. So this is gonna go here. And you guys know I like to overdo the glue all the time. Better to have more glue than not enough glue. And then side. Side. 
and we're still gonna secure it on the bottom so I'm not like super worried about getting a ton of glue in there. Um, I'm also gonna put some glue in here since we're gonna put the stick in already. Just kind of get it through here. There we go. All right, so make sure it's straight, all that good stuff before you hold it down and try to secure it. Oops, looks like I have it a little, there we go. Okay, yeah, I had it a little sideways. So make sure you look at it from all the different angles because you want it to stand straight. And it looks good. I'm gonna let it sit for just a tad. And then we will secure it on the bottom. But this glue dries really fast. If you guys find another glue you like, let me know too. Um, it just depends on what you like. You don't want it to take too long so that you're not holding it here forever and ever. All right. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and drop some glue in here. And I have no intention of anybody seeing the bottom of this. So I don't mind putting a lot. I mean, it does look semi-neat though. Try to keep it little neat. All right. So there's our extra little secure part of your wheelbarrow there, okay? Let me take this off. And then we should be able to work on the wheel and just make sure it's still straight. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the wheel. Same thing, I'm gonna put it in here. Um, you can leave it out a little bit if you want to leave like a gap. It's up to you, or you can put it all the way and have this extra space here. It's just enough space to give it some room. So I'm gonna do the same thing, glue it, and then apply some hot glue to it. This glue you can get at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, probably even Amazon, not gonna lie. I need to order a bunch more of these. All right, so I'm gonna drop this in here, hold it, and then we will put some hot glue in the hole. Okay, put a little bit of glue, a little bit of hot glue right here. And see, mine's sticking out a little bit. You can shave it down if you want. Um, I mean, it's the back, so. Put some glue in there. Right to this. And then paint over it, however you wanna keep it. All right. Let that dry, and then you should have a pretty secure wheel. And then just clean it off, paint it, whatever you're wanting to do with it, paint over it. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for a little bit. If you wanna find a little support, I'm gonna put this here. We're still gonna put the back too. All right, so there is the base. Now we're gonna put the sides and then the back and this is the front okay so if you already have it and yours is completed without this part here yours will look like this the only part you're missing is here once you get it you put it in here and you glue it okay glue it right to right in the position you'd like you can actually leave it right on top of these and it'll look just like that And that's the part in the picture that we have that is gray and kind of like whitewashed with like a crackle. That's that part. Okay, maybe we can do both of these together. All right, so I'm gonna do one side. One side and we're gonna add some glue. 
sides, bottom, side, okay? Let me see if I can use this brush right here. Let's see if it'll stick in there. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, so right here. And most of the time you're gonna fill all of this in with greenery or something. So don't worry about having glue anywhere. It'll be just fine. Put some more here, some more here. And then just let it sit for just a second. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna move it this way. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. So it's this part forward, okay? And I have it aligned with this. All is good. All right, now we're gonna do this part here. Um, same thing, you're literally just gonna slide it in and then glue it. So let's do the other spacer up, up front. It'll work good like that. Same exact thing, guys. This part facing forward. This is the front of our wheelbarrow. So we're gonna just make sure it's good and then get our glue. And start to glue pieces. It's gonna sit there so you can even put some right here and then you can put some right here. Oops. I realize I might not be in the camera. Okay, there's a little extra glue there. So same thing, pointing it forward and then you can see where the glue is adhering. This one doesn't take long at all so that's fine. Okay, now while this is going in, we're still gonna be a little careful. We are going to um, add our back piece, okay? So that's why I recommend painting the both sides of this because you are gonna see, for sure you're gonna see this part every once in a while. And then the back, just in case, it's up to you though. I mean, it doesn't make or break it. So then it's gonna fit in there just like that. And now we're just making sure everything's spaced out right before it's completely glued. And then now we'll glue the back piece, okay? So you know you're gonna need some glue. My goodness, gotta love this kind of glue, right? It literally will stick to anything. So I'm gonna put some glue here because we're gonna need it here. I'm gonna put some glue here. And then I'm gonna put some here because this is where it's gonna sit. And we can secure this with some hot glue inside also. Most of the time, you're gonna have some greenery with your interchangeables. Right now we're doing spring, but I will add some new interchangeables for this wheelbarrow also for the season in case you wanna swap it out. All right, so we're gonna put it in there. There we go. And then kind of glue it like that. Now there's gonna be some par parts that there's spaces and I'll show you what I mean. And that's a good spot where you can add some glue. I have green glue everywhere. All right. All right, so, so you start to see how it's ready to go, All right? So you can add some glue here if you want. 
inside, outside. Um, there, like I said, these are, these are the spaces that you'll see that you can also use to fill in with glue. So maybe right here in the back, we're gonna add a little bit of glue, hot glue, I should say, just to give it a little extra not completely dry so I'm moving it and messing it up so give it some time to to dry first and I'm almost out of glue so that probably doesn't help I'll just do that part for right now because I need to get another glue stick. Okay, make sure you're good, good to go. Give it some time. And all we have left to add now, guys, is the front. So this is where, if you're missing the front piece, where you will have your wheelbarrow, you'll just be missing this front piece here. You can still set it up. I still set mine up. I still put all of my inserts in it with a little bit of... Um, whatever it's called, I can't think of it right now, but you can still set it up. Now, once you get your insert, you're gonna have this piece here. So you're gonna wanna paint it, and then you're going to glue it right in between the tire and the front part, okay? That's why we put the spacer. Okay, so it's gonna sit right above your little brackets and the wheel, okay? See it like that? It's gonna sit just like that. So we'll put our glue right here. Let me get some more. Right there. It's gonna sit right about here. So I'm gonna put some glue there. to get it on there good. I'm gonna make some space for it. Okay. And then just hold it. And your other pieces may not be completely on there yet, okay? So just don't squeeze too hard. Take your time, relax. It is a lot of gluing and just a little bit of a process. And then you will have your beautiful little wheelbarrow. Now, the wheelbarrow, like I said, um, whether you choose to leave it like this, if you don't want the piece, that's fine, but I am, I'm, I already cut them all. Um, your wheelbarrow will be good to go and you can just bring in and out your inserts for the season. And I will have a video of those also, but I already have these, so I just wanted to show you. Some of mine are missing some parts, so just for that, just so you can see. And there you have it. You have your super cute little wheelbarrow. It will last forever and ever and ever. And um, that's it, guys. So just let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully this is not too long. Um, and yeah, if you need anything at all, please let me know. Um, thanks guys.